Yeah, this is the 2016 one, and we are, uh, first I would like to acknowledge my co-PI on this project, Ricardo Ramirez and Eric Natwick. We are dealing here with the uh, alfalfa weevil, and this is a very destructive insect, the most destructive in the West. They can like feed on the, um, on the leaflet, and they can like vanish the yield like that, scrutinize uh, the leaflet here, and also the adult can mix, make some damage to the stem. Uh, there is some monitoring and some sampling methods that's working quite well for this insect. This is a, a winter insect, so you should go and sample during the, um, uh, the cold time. And there is actually a published threshold for this insect in 1975, and it's 15 to 20 larva bear sweep. And when I started my job and start like telling people, yeah, we have this uh, threshold, they start laughing at me. Because we were like having surveys as part of our extension asking, our grower and ag um, specialist about what they are doing in terms of the treatment for this weevil. And we give them all the option and the, like 85% of them follow the threshold, which is like so fine. But when we ask them what threshold they are following, we have all across the board here. So yeah, it is published there, but nobody's using it because it have been developed in a different area. It's old and there is a lot of factors have been changed over the time. So we started like manipulating the population in experimental plots for many years, actually even before the start of this project. And we have, uh, uh, we use some different materials, some insecticides, some different traits. The, 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 the objective here is not to study the efficacy, but rather to develop a different densities of this insect and to compare that to the yield that we'll get out of these numbers to start developing our economic threshold. So we have like, we choose like our best three years so far of these results and so far our uh, data that we have uh, telling us the range is not 15 to 20 by any means, but it's rather very low. It's about three to nine, depend on many factors, mainly the temperature will affect the development and the feeding of this insect quite, uh, quite dramatically. So we have this uh, result here in terms of the uh, the, the economic threshold that we have, but we are refining them in terms of how this threshold is temperature dependent, and also if we have different latitude in the area and how that will affect uh, uh, this threshold. The weather pattern, if you start with colder area, or I'm sorry, colder season, it's way different if, uh, than when you start with a warmer season, and we saw that in a couple of these years. Part of this project, too, is to develop some uh, management uh, tools for this insect, but we don't have time to share this information, but we'll be happy to answer any of these questions. Thank you.